But Shalom, first off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakadash. It's all praises to the world called God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh by Hashem, meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son. Also, I want to say double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone, and peace and mercy to the hopeful like preaching this word and truth and sincerity. My brother Taz Abai here in Arizona, Lord will, with another video to edify. And, um, I wanted to go in on this, uh, make a response kind of to this because these brothers was always deep in the spirit, man. I love watching this camp, All right? I love watching this camp tough, but, um, if you get some time, watch it, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I wanted to get in on the fact that the Lord wrote this whole story before anything was set in motion. But having faith in that and having full belief in the Lord and his plan, that's what's going to sustain us at the end of the day. It says, um, let me make sure I put that in there. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, In wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, and strength and salvation, the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. You see, the wisdom and knowledge that the Lord set all this up in motion, the wisdom and knowledge of what the Lord wrote, right? The knowledge that, <laughs> that all you got to do is just keep chugging, keep chugging and keep believing in this thing. That's what's going to sustain you in the time of Jacob's trouble. Because Esau is getting ready to shut this shit down. Right. They're getting ready to push the mark of the beast. They're getting ready to push the RFID. Right. They're going to get ready with, with, with killing a lot of these jobs, the economy, uh, like exorbitant inflation is about to hit. This whole UAE, uh, UAW, United Automotive Workers Union, that 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 that, that shutdown. It's just another ploy for Esau to get his plans going. Because it, what, it, what it was his goal? To to stop the sale of, of combustion engine uh, cars. Because you're going to own nothing. And he says you're going to be happy. So Esau is going forward with his plans. But at the same time, what did the Lord say? He said in the book of Re Revelation, strengthen those things which remain. So having lessons that talk about and get your mind thinking on, hey, the Lord wrote this in the plan. I'm just playing out the Lord's plan, Lord willing. Right? He gave me the strength to endure. But having a mindset of, oh, look at this and look at that, like the scriptures say. The slothful man saying there's a lion in his way. Let me let me get that lion in the way. This is um there's Proverbs 26 and 13, it says, the, the slothful man said there's a lion in the way. A lion is in the street, right? Basically, you make an excuse because there's danger out there or a difficulty that you don't think you're able to deal with, that you don't want to deal with, that you think there's a better way so you don't have to deal with that type of danger. That is a slothful mindset, right? There's a reason why the Lord said he didn't give us the spirit of fear, but of power and might. The Lord gave us the spirit of power and might. And where does that power and might come from? Does it come from us? No, it comes from what? The faith that we have in the Lord, right? But I'm going to start with this um, second Ezra's. Six and one. It says, uh, Second Ezra six and one. It says, and he said unto me, in the beginning, when the earth was made, there uh, before the borders of the world stood, or ever the winds blew, before it thundered or enlightened, or ever the foundations of paradise were laid. You see, before the Lord even laid the foundations of what the kingdom, right? Before the fair flowers were seen. Or ever the immovable powers were established, 
before the innumerable multitude of angels were gathered together. Really put this in your mind, right? All these wondrous works that the Lord had before all this was made, people, what he did, he said, um, verse four, it says, wherever the heights of the air were, uh, were lifted up before the measure of the firmament were named, or ever the chimneys of Sion were hot, and ere the present years were sought out. So even before uh, uh, the prophecies were written down on what was going to happen, right? Or ever the inventions of them that now sin were turned before they were sealed, they gathered faith for, uh, for a treasure. And that's, Lord willing, that's our goal, is to be those that gather faith for a treasure. And what, it, what was our faith then? Was it in the things of the world, Right? Was it I believe I can make it to the lead? Was it I believe that 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 I can make a million dollars? Or was our faith within the Lord? That's the difference. Because in this time, your faith got to be in the Lord, man. Shit is about to hit the fan. Esau's, hey, when you talk about the, the plethora, plethora of just hell on hell that's coming, right? That we're going to have to navigate through in the spirit. And be faithful to the Heavenly Father. You got to understand that, man. You got to understand that. Right? It's good to think of those things. It says in, in prosperity, think of poverty. Right? So right now, technically, everybody's in prosperity. Because that shit ain't hit yet. Because when, when the economy collapses, everybody going to be in it. Right? Says verse six. Says then did I consider these things, and they were uh, were all made through me alone. You see, before all this stuff was done, the Lord considered everything. Right, the Lord considered everything, even down to our own personal hells that we got to go through, even down to whatever lot we have in the time of Jacob's trouble that we got to go through. The Lord considered all this. So you got to have faith that when the Lord considered it, he wrote in your story to endure, man. He wrote in your portion of that to endure and believe and do the righteous things. You got to put yourself in the mind's eye of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai was faced with uh, insurmountable pain. He saw the nigga that was there that was going <laughs> to that was going to betray him. Right. Right? He saw Judas there that was going to betray him. And when, when Peter slashed off the, the, the guard's ear, right? what did he do? He put, put the ear back on the dude, said, don't you know that I, I can pray to my father for 12 legions of angels? You see, but he was willing to go through it. That's the eight. That is the amount of, of belief we got to show. Because Yahweh shot, he just knew the Lord was. Right? We're being shown that the Lord is, man. We're being shown that the Lord is. We believe, but man, the Lord is going to show us that he is. And that he sent his son. And he's going to fight for us, man. It says, then, then did I consider these things, and they were all made, made through me alone, and through none other, and by me also uh, they shall be ended, and by none other. You see, that's, that's the type of power we serve. Right? The, 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 the deliverance in this thing is all based on election. So if it's based on election, model yourself after what the elect is. Right? This is um, Romans 8. And 29. It says, For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. So who the Lord did foreknow that hey, before all the steps was set up, the Lord considered these things, even our own personal walks. He wrote the story. We living it out. So Lord willing, the works that you're doing shows forth that you're one of those predestined souls to be conformed unto the same image of Yahweh Shai, the same likeness. Right? The temperament and judgment, the understanding of judgment, right? The ability to be long suffering, to be merciful, right? The ability to get the power that the Lord promised. 
The Lord in the beginning thought about those souls that he was going to predestinate to get that award, to get that reward, man. It says uh, Ephesians 1. In 11, it says, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestined, predestinated according to the purpose of his uh, uh, of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, that we should be the praise of the of his glory. Uh, who first trusted in a Mashiach. This other one, yeah, 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 this is it. It says, um, verse 13, in whom also we trusted after that we heard the word of truth. You see, it's a complete trust thing in this thing, man. Yo, woman, she don't know where the money coming from. The bills might be late, but you're gonna want her to believe that you're gonna have <laughs> that you got a plan for it. Well, you got to believe in the Lord the same way that He's got a plan for it. Whatever we're going to go through, the Lord got a plan for it. Right? He don't leave me in hell. Like, hey, Paul said it himself. Thou shalt not leave me in hell. Not Paul, but um, David. Thou shalt not leave me in hell. Right? So you got to have the same mindset in the same time. Believe, man. Big faith is going to be needed, man. Big faith is going to be needed. And whether or not uh, uh, we make it, it's up to the Lord, but we got to, hey, even if we get uh, threatened with death, even if that's our lot, because they're going to be martyrs, you got to have the mindset to believe that the Lord is going to put it in you to bear that. It says, in whom all we he also trusted after he heard the word of truth, the gospel of our salvation, in whom also after that you believe you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our of our inheritance, right? The down payment, being sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, right? That belief that you have in that was the down payment, right? Earnest of our our in inheritance unto the redemption of the per purchased possession unto the praise of his glory, right? You got to understand that believe Big faith, man. Colossians 3. Colossians 3 and 12. It says, put on therefore as the elect. You see? That faith that you have that the Lord wrote this plan. You, you're just doing a full out trust fall. You fall into the hands of the Lord. The scriptures tell you, I'd rather... Rather uh, fall into the hands of the Lord than in the hands of man. Let's get that. Let me get that. How's it go? Here's some proverbs. Man, how does that scripture go? Um, ah, how is it worded exactly? Yeah, here it is. Second Samuel two twenty four and fourteen it says, and David said unto Gad, I am in a great strait. Let us uh, let us uh, now let us fall now into the hand of Yahweh, for he for his mercies are great, and let me not fall into the hand of man. Right? You got to fully take a full on trust fall and believe in the heavenly Father. 
You can't fall back onto the things in this world because in this time, if you fall back into that shit, you're through. You're through, man. Right? Even the game, game is scripted, right? You watch the Super Bowl Sunday and shit. And you see them fucking up plays all the time. You see the NBA finals and, and refs calling calls they ain't called all year. Out of fucking nowhere. Right? The game is scripted and Lord scripted existence to believe in the Lord and that Lord willing, he scripted you to get a victory in this thing. What hey, it's called the hopeful elect for a reason, man. We hope that we are the elect. Right? This is um Colossians 3 and 12. It says, put on therefore as the elect, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness. Of mind, meekness, long suffering, because what you have in a mindset without these things, right? When you have a mindset that devoids yourself of what the 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 what does it say? Holy beloved, bowels of kindness, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness, mind, humbleness of mind, meekness, and long suffering is because what? You start losing that patience. So you get agitated, you start doing fucked up shit. But you got to have a mindset to what? Always have that mercy. Always have that judgment. Put it on the elect. Doing the deeds that the elect would do constantly. And that's going to show you forth your faith. It's going to push forward works to show that faith. Right? The Lord looks on those things. It says, for bearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Amashiach forgave you, so, so also do ye. Right? Another one I was thinking of. I think it's Hammers of Salvation. It's the right one. Isaiah 59 and 17, it says. No, that's not the right one. Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 4, it says, For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, put on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, uh, the hope of salvation. For the Most High had not appointed us unto wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai, you got to have faith that the Lord didn't appoint you unto wrath, but a salvation in our Lord Yahweh Shai, right? This is um, John 6 and 68. I ended on this. It says, um, John 6 and 68, it says, Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of it. Oh, I got to start up. Verse 65, it says, And he said, Therefore said I unto you, that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. You got to have faith that you couldn't even get to the Lord unless the Lord wrote it in the plan for you too. Right? For the time, for that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with them. Then said Yahweh Shai unto the twelve, uh, will ye also go away? Right? It says, Then uh, then Simon Peter answered, Answer him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And that's the mindset you gotta take. Even when all hell kicks off, things ain't favorable, things looking bleak, right? It looks like a for sure L. You believe to the point that you never fucking separate from the Lord, man. Right? The scripture talk about uh, there's going to be some people that are going to separate. Right? Uh, no, it's not that one. It's, there's another one where it says, um, there's one that goes, some shall depart from a faith. But it says, um, what 
by and by. Yeah, for uh, Matthew's 13 and 21. Yet had not ruled on himself, but endured for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises, for, arises because of the word, and that's going to happen. Persecution and, and, and tribulation is going to arise, what? Because of this gospel we have. Because this world doesn't attain them to the gospel. They go into their emotions, how they feel. They go into their lust. Right, so there's going to be a time where we're we're going to be tri we're going to be in tribulation, persecuted for the truth. There's going to be a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord, like the scriptures say. It says by and by he is offended. You can't be a person that's by and by offended. You got to be a person that said this. It says where should, you got to be like Simon. He said, "Where shall we go? To whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life." No matter what, we lean and fall on the Lord, man. Big faith is needed in this time. Shalom.